You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This is episode number two called Benefits from Mastering the Skill of Plant Identification. In this episode, I share benefits you might anticipate as you develop your plant identification skills. I invite you to visit identifythatplant.com for more plant identification resources and information. Here are some reasons why I want to identify plants accurately with the resulting benefits. Maybe some of these are true for you, too. I've always been curious about the plants I see growing where I live or visit. I wonder what they are called and begin asking people who live there. Or I look in a field guide to figure it out. So my first reason to identify a plant is to know its name. The second reason I want to identify a plant is to be able to talk about it with someone else. Once I know a plant's common name and scientific name, it becomes easier to talk with other people about that plant, especially with the scientific name, which means that we are definitely discussing the same plant. Thirdly, I want to know more about a plant I've identified. Does it have a flower? What does the flower look like? What kind of seed or fruit does it make? Where does it typically grow? Could it be used medicinally? What does it look like at different times of the year, at different stages in its growth? Once I really learn about a plant, I'm more comfortable with it. I feel like I know it. This leads to my fourth benefit. As I know more and more plants growing around me, and as I know their names, their uses, their cautions, I feel more comfortable living in my bioregion. I feel safe because I know which plants could be a problem for me, and I know how to minimize my exposure to naturally hazardous plants. Currently, the biggest reason why I want to identify plants is that I'm looking for medicinal plants or edible foraged food. With skills and accurate identification, I know once again that I can be safe. There are additional benefits that other people have shared with me from knowing how to identify plants. These include a strengthened connection with nature, knowing how and where to be safe outdoors, saving money by using wild harvested plants instead of purchasing them, increasing my confidence in the ability to care for myself, slowing down the internal pace and the excessive mind chatter. Here's another big benefit. Mastering plant identification skills extends beyond working with plants. These skills can translate to other areas of life. Question asking skills coming from a frame of mind which says, I'm curious about, can be applied in many ways. Being curious and having a sense of wonder lead to being open to possibilities. For example, what is that on that plant? Is that a natural part of the plant itself? Or, what might this be useful for? Or, where might this path or trail lead? Or, where and how can I learn more about this program or object or process? A second benefit from mastering plant identification is knowing how to research answers to questions through the use of guides, which could be books, the internet, and or people. A third benefit is the ability to engage in critical thinking, one aspect of which is being able to discern differences and commonalities. Is this snake safe? Dangerous? Or perhaps you are exploring several possible courses of action which might be taken for a project at work or for a vacation trip you might take. Being able to define what is similar or different about the possibilities can help inform the decision. When identifying a plant, attention is paid to the finest details about the plant as well as the broader perspective of where it is growing. This skill of seeing a broader picture or perspective, as well as noticing important relevant details, can provide so much information even as you move through your daily routines. Conversely, the skills I've just mentioned, which may have been learned in other areas of your life, will serve you well as you identify plants. To summarize, the benefits to mastering the skills of correct plant identification are numerous, ranging from simply knowing what a plant is called and talking about it with others, to learning life skills applicable throughout your life. 
What benefits do you anticipate? I invite you to share your thoughts at identifythatplant.com. Look for the blog entry titled, Benefits from Mastering the Skills of Plant Identification. The next podcast will focus on hazardous plants in your area, getting to know them, and learning how to live safely with them. Visit identifythatplant.com for more plant identification resources and information about how you can confidently master these skills of correct plant identification. You've been watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire.